Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I recently did a video on the Sicilian's 50% less bonus damage, and in the comments got some great questions about how Sicilian Cavaliers compare to Byzantine Cataphracts, whether Cataphract Trample Damage works against Sicilian Halberdiers, as well as how the two units interact in general. All of which and more we'll be diving into for this video. Cataphracts vs Sicilian Halberdiers is actually a really interesting matchup, and is one of, if not the most complex damage calculation you'll find between two units in Age of Empires 2. A little known historical fact is that the real reason the moon landings had to be faked was because on the first mission the astronauts were playing Age of Empires 2 and a cataphract started fighting a Sicilian halberdier uphill, crashing their onboard computers. So let's break down exactly what's going on. Here I have a Byzantine elite cataphract against a Sicilian halberdier with every upgrade available to each civilization fighting on different elevations. To start with, the cataphract has 14 attack, three of which is negated by the halberdier's melee armor. Not shown in the stats though is cataphracts also have a hidden plus 12 bonus against infantry. At the same time, Sicilians have a civ bonus that negates half of any bonus damage against their military units, so we need to adjust the cataphracts anti-infantry bonus to plus 6. Byzantines also have the tech logistica though, which has two effects. The first is 5 trample damage done to any unit they're adjacent to, though that doesn't apply to the unit they're targeting, so it isn't a factor we need to include here. Logistica's second effect is that it adds 6 additional bonus damage against infantry, on top of the bonus damage they already do. Since it's technically bonus damage though, remember Sicilians will negate half of that. Altogether, that means elite cataphracts are doing 20 damage per attack, as opposed to the 29 they would do if this wasn't the Sicilians. Looking at the other side, the Sicilian halberdier does 10 melee damage, 5 of which is blocked by the cataphracts melee armor, as well as plus 32 against all types of cavalry. At the same time, cataphracts have 16 cavalry armor, which means they negate the first 16 anti-cavalry bonus damage being done to them. Effectively, in this case, it's like they're getting the Sicilian's bonus, though through different means, and end up taking just 16 of the original 32. Altogether, that means Sicilian halberdiers are dealing 21 damage per attack, which is nearly identical to the cataphracts. Of course, this isn't accounting for the fact that they're fighting on a hill. In this case, the final damage is increased by 25% for the uphill unit and decreased by 25% for the downhill one. Even if this isn't technically the most complex damage calculation possible in AoE 2, it does manage to nicely show off a lot of ways that different attack bonuses, rates, armor, and modifiers can all be in play at the same time. Just looking at those final numbers, it appears the halberdier is completely winning, but it's not an apples to apples comparison, as cataphracts attack much faster. In terms of damage dealt over time, the two actually end up being almost identical. But now that we've started down this path, could we make this even more complicated by introducing conversions into the mix as well? For example, if the cataphract is actually one that's been converted by Bulgarians, would it also attack 33% faster? In this case, we have Bulgarians starting with a cataphract that are also converting a Byzantine one. Having both units attack an outpost at the same time, you can see the one I gave Bulgarians at the start is dealing more damage since it's attacking faster, and the converted unit didn't pick up the benefits of the Bulgarians' unique tech stirrups. In fact, as a general rule, when you convert units, it's unaffected by additional techs that you research in the future or have researched already. That said, there are instances where you can break that rule with villagers, trebuchets, or monks, as well as with certain techs like redemption and ballistics. Usually it's helpful to think of converted units as being frozen in time at the moment they're converted. But does that apply to the Sicilian's 50% bonus damage? Is it something built into the unit when it's created that can be stolen by conversion, or are Sicilians able to give that bonus to any unit they convert? I tried out converting a cataphract as Sicilians, which is more difficult than you'd think as Byzantines have heresy, and it turns out Sicilians can't pass on their minus 50% bonus to the cataphract. As in most cases, the converted unit doesn't pick up a new civ bonus. But hang on, what if you could give the Sicilians a cataphract, say through the scenario editor, to make sure they are affected by the Sicilians' bonus damage reduction? A regular elite cataphract negated 16 of the halberdier's bonus damage, meaning it still received the remaining 16. Depending on whether the Sicilian bonus is applied before or after the cataphract's armor, it could take either 8 bonus damage, or 0. It turns out the Sicilian bonus happens first, meaning this theoretical Sicilian cataphract takes 0 bonus damage. The 32 is cut in half by the Sicilian's bonus, and the remaining 16 is perfectly cancelled out by the cataphract's built-in anti-cavalry armor. Since halberdiers have the highest anti-cavalry attack in the game, that means a Sicilian cataphract would be effectively immune to anti-cavalry bonuses. Examples like this are why it's probably a good thing the game doesn't apply said bonuses and text to converted units. There's way too many broken combinations you'd be able to find, just like this one. Going back to the actual matchup though, who has the upper hand when a cataphract runs into a Sicilian halberdier? 
I did a quick check and the cataphracts trample damage to adjacent units after researching Logistica is having its full effect on Sicilians. Keep in mind that because of that, cataphracts will always look better in dense, larger scale tests than on smaller scales, as there's just more units around that can be impacted. Since Sicilians are still taking 9 less damage per hit from cataphracts on flat ground, it stands to reason they're significantly better than generic ones in that matchup. Funny enough though, depending on how you look at it, they're actually not. The wrinkle here is Sicilian halberdiers are still taken out in the same number of hits as generic fully upgraded ones. With trample damage and other units like skirmishers around, it'll definitely help out here and there in practice, but against an army of pure cataphracts, I really didn't see any difference. With an equal number of elite cataphracts against Sicilian halberdiers, the cataphracts ended with more than three quarters of their HP left. That ends up being a good trade for the Byzantines, unless gold prices at the market are less than 38 gold per 100 food or wood. In a case where prices fall lower than that, Sicilian halberdiers are theoretically giving good long-term value, though that's also true of generic halberdiers as well. Now another separate question I saw related to cataphracts and Sicilians in the last video was whether Sicilian cavaliers are comparable to cataphracts because of their similar bonus damage negation against counter units. That is a big selling feature of cataphracts which helps especially against the pike line and camels. As it turns out, Sicilian cavaliers take identical damage to cataphracts against halberdiers as both negate half the halberdiers bonus damage and have the same melee armor. The elite cataphract has 10 more HP but also costs 10 more food, which seems like a reasonable trade-off. Cavalier though have two more base attack and one more pierce armor, so at first glance it appears Sicilian cavaliers have the advantage. That's a bit misleading though thanks to Logistica and the cataphract's extra attack against infantry. Sicilian cavaliers deal 13 damage with each attack, while elite cataphracts deal 29. That's even before considering the cataphract's trample damage against large groups of enemies. The takeaway is while Sicilian cavaliers may be comparable in baseline stats and are getting an equivalent resistance against halberdier attacks, cataphracts are still overwhelmingly a better unit against any sort of infantry. The obvious question then is, what about camels, which aren't infantry and have 18 bonus damage against cavalry? In that case, cataphracts are negating 16 of that bonus, so just an extra 2 is going through. Sicilian cavaliers, on the other hand, are only negating half, which in this case is just 9. At the end of the day, that means they're taking almost double the damage per hit, so again the cataphract ends up looking a lot better against a classic cavalry counter. That's not to take anything away from the Sicilian cavaliers, which of course hold up much better than generic cavaliers would in that case, but side by side with cataphracts, again there's a pretty obvious difference. Thinking about it more generally, with elite cataphracts negating 16 damage and Sicilians cutting it in half, technically with any unit doing less than 32 bonus damage, the cataphracts armor is helping more. That actually covers everything in the game except the halberdier, where again we saw the cataphract is better anyway thanks to their own anti-infantry bonus. The consolation prize for the Sicilians here is that their bonus applies to a ton of different matchups, as opposed to the Byzantines which is specific to just one unit. So there's the answers to every cataphract and Sicilian question I saw in the last video. Big thanks to patrons Jean-Paul, Ben, Alex, Brian, Connor, Daniel, Brock, James, Kyle, Matt, Noah, Princess Diva, Samantha, Zach, and I lick toes at night, which I thought was a bit of an odd name at first until I realized they're a cat, so that totally checks out. That's all for this one though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.